You need to see this altcoin because it could have prevented the world cyber attack. And we're seeing the entire world come to a pivotal point right now, showing that the infrastructure that we have is not adequate. And luckily, we have something that's already around and starting to be integrated, and the world is waking up to the need for blockchain. When we tie in what's going on right now, we see cybersecurity, global outages, cyber uh, cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike hit hard affecting global services, banks, media, airports. FAA had to shut down nearly all flights, uh, global payment systems, Australia calls for emergency meeting so much going on right now and all this is on all these old digital systems that are relying on the need for trust and this is a very bizarre term for people that don't understand this yet but blockchain what blockchain provides especially if you have a secure effective and scalable blockchain it's trustlessness we don't need to trust that you're going to do the right thing because it is programmed into the system so when we dive in here i just wanted to highlight something that i think everybody needs to be aware of and that is constellation dag how constellation dag Met, uh, metagraphs could have prevented the chaos context of the outage faulty crowdstrike update led to widespread disruptions in microsoft services affected airlines banks media nine uh 911 emergency services and train services caused windows you know uh, microsoft windows bsod error how constellation metagraphs could help this is what i think is important because there's so many different blockchains out there and they all are going to serve their own purposes we got you know of course bitcoin then you have ethereum avalanche cardano solana arbitrum i mean the list goes on and on and on here but what we need is essentially a blockchain that has the scalability, that has the throughput, the transactions per second, as well as the ability to essentially not be limited on data. And let's be honest, right now, the number one important thing in this world because of how integrated digitally our lives are is data. So we need to figure out a way that we can transact, transfer, communicate, share data in a very secure and scalable way. That's exactly what Constellation DAG does. And that's why they have contracts with the US Air Force. That's why they're partnering with IBM and Panasonic. That's why they're doing a hackathon right now to help bring some of the awareness to the retail because they've already been, I mean, they are the chosen blockchain for the Department of Defense. This is the kind of stuff we need to be interested in when we're looking to the fundamentals of what type of chains are building into the future. Now, when we look at this, we see why is Constellation Metagraphs, Constellation DAG, how could they help? Well, data validation and notarization. Validate and notarize data early in the pipeline. De de detect anomalies and prevent faulty updates from deployment. Operational efficiency and data consistency. Ensure that data consistency and operational efficiency is constant. This is something that needs to happen with the flow of data, with the flow of money, with transactions, with all this interconnectivity. This stuff needs to be uh, validated and move effectively without any hiccups. And furthermore, when we consider what's going on with CrowdStrike and with the, the cybersecurity issues, there's these massive centralized single points of failure. This is why blockchain decentralized systems like this are so important moving into this next evolution of our culture with let's be honest we're already kind of living in two worlds the in real life world but then also the digital world that all of the things that we do in this life are tied into let's go on technology and exploitation of data efficient exploitation of data for robust systems resilient data architectures adapt and adapt in real time this is the important thing Defense and regulatory compliance. This is going to be obviously the, I think the phrase, the focus of the next probably six years or more. And these chains that are building into this regulatory compliance. And when you consider Constellation DAG has somebody from the U.S. Treasury on the board I mean, they've got the right players involved. And we consider right here strong defense mechanisms and regulatory compliance, enforced security protocols and standards, organizational uh, capability for future proofing. This, the evolution of technology is happening so quickly. We have to have the immediate ability to scale. And that's one of the things that Constellation DAG has essentially 
built into the architecture, which is one of the reasons why the Metagraphs are the next evolution. In fact, it's a leap into, I think, many evolutions into the future for what they can do comparatively with the limited smart contracts that are out there with all those other layer one, layer two, two solutions I listed early on. We can also see build capabilities for, for the future uh, with historical data analysis and predictive modeling. There's so much technical jargon here. At the end of the day, what we're looking at when we're considering how we're gonna build into our future, how we're gonna make sure that data is secure, first step is remove the single points of failure. Remove the centralized monopolies that are out there. Constellation DAG is doing that. Now, not only are they doing that, they have done that. And when we look a little deeper, we can see right here, Dagnum PI, make sure you're following him if you're not, D-A-G-N-U-M underscore PI. Uh, Right here, revolutionizing data trust with AI and blockchain. So they're stepping in to also have mechanisms that are going to be necessary. They're going to be an imperative of the future, which is this right here. Data trust with AI and blockchain. Decentralization, uh, future technology, and also uh, establishing the ability not to trust someone, but to have protocols that can distribute this security risk, therefore making it more secure, but also this type of technology integrating things like AI that can help it keep up and move into the future. Imagine an ecosystem where data isn't just data, but a beacon of hope, of trust, precision, and futuristic AI-driven insights. This is the type of thing I'm looking at. This is one of the reasons why I've been doing so much uh, research on this project. We had the, the hour-long interview we did the other day on this channel here at BitLab Academy. If you haven't yet, make sure you're giving us a follow. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have your notifications on because we're going to be bringing you more and more information about how you can step into the future of this ecosystem. And Constellation DAG is doing it just that with the fundamentals, the framework for which they started with these DOD contracts, making sure that they're thoroughly vetted, having compliance, uh, having the right so sort of technology, and the, uh, the forward-looking approach, how we can make sure and ensure that we can uh, scale into the future. Uh, we continue on. They have a uh, hackathon going on right now essentially trying to because they've been so focused on the, the the department of defense these private government contracts i mean talk about proof of concept it is there it is established and it is trusted in addition to that they're having this hackathon to push forward into that enterprise the retail the the deliverables that all of us can utilize in everyday life uh, one of the interesting things about this is the maximum size of data on constellation on dag metagraph is the chain size, and this is essentially infinitely scalable. So meaning developers face no data limits beyond the max snapshot size. For massive data sets, validate and store off-chain, ensuring cost-effective scalability. This is game-changing for handling terabytes. Terabytes. U.S. Transcom was doing, uh, I think, two terabytes of data. If I'm, I hope I'm not misquoting this. Two terabytes of data every 60 minutes. Okay, now when you think about this, there's a lot of considerations in how you can make this type of thing scalable. Well, when the way you're transacting this data, the way you're packaging it, and the way you're able to effectively communicate, transact, and store it is going to be very imperative to what type of chain it is on in the future, if it's even able to keep up with the current rate of how things are going, but also decentralize it and allow that not only to keep up, but to be scalable beyond where we're at now. Get ready to push the boundaries of what's possible with Constellation Hour. I mean, I, I absolutely love this project since it was brought to my attention. Since I started looking into this, uh, we partner with Constellation DAG because there's so many different assets that are out there that are saying they're going to do something that have only been building in to hopefully doing stuff. This is already proof of concept delivered. Department of Defense contracts, the partnerships, it is absolutely incredible what they're doing. What if they partner with people like ICP? Well, we're gonna find out what happens from this hackathon that's going on right now. It's gonna be very interesting to see what happens with Constellation DAG. I hope you just have your eye on it. I'm not telling you to buy it or sell it. I'm just saying, I hope I can bring it to your attention so you can figure out if it's something that you want to layer into your portfolio to make sure that your portfolio can scale into the future. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding the bell. Uh, drop a comment down below if you are already aware of DAG, if this is new to you. Uh, if, if, 
if you learned anything, uh, let's let's hold our governments more accountable. We have the technology. Let's make those decisions. Let's let's make sure that we are integrated into the future so that we don't keep putting not only people but systems and security and everything in our life is integrated in, into the digital world. We need to have these types of systems now ev evolved to what's available. That's all I got for you today. Make sure you hit that like button. I'll see you in the next video. Adios, muchachos.